Hey, hey, welcome back to our channel. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a free portfolio using Canva. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so as promised, today I'll be showing you how to create a free portfolio using Canva. So you go to canva.com, you go here, well, you could go here, but for time's sake, let's go here and just search. If you like to get things done quickly, if you're like me, then do that. Click on that um, portfolio presentation. Let's choose something fun for this video. I'm going to choose... Let's choose this one. It's premium. You would have to pay for it, but there are free ones there that you can use. You could change the font by clicking on the entire the words. Change the font to glacial indifference. Change the size, whatever size you want it to be. If you don't have time to be going all the way down, just put the numbers here, 45. You could change the colors. You can design your own colors. And as you can see right here, if you have a picture in the document itself, um, you can literally click on the, the colors in the picture. So if you wanna have a color scheme, like this would go nice with this right here. Or the sky, but I think the green would be better if you were using this one. But obviously you're gonna have your own brand colors, but this is just an example. And when you create your own free Canva account, you can put your brand colors right here. Um, those are, well, basically the purple and the black. We use this for another company that we started but that's another talk. <laughs> All right, so down here, you can literally put your own pick. Let me just use one of our picks. Oh, we have a lot of picks going on up here. Let's use uploads. Let's just say we want to use this pick. It doesn't go well. Let's use this pick. Nah. Anyway, you know, you get the picture. You just resize it. Then you have your about here, and if you don't have any text area right here to type what you want, you can literally come over here. Text, you could add a simple heading, a subheading, a little body, or you could choose one of these fancy fonts. And let's just go, I mean, it's the body, so you don't want to have too fancy, fancy. Let's so let's use add a little body of text you can remove uh, move it to where you want it to be then you literally just type in here hey i'm chenille an experience online business manager and you just introduce yourself this is your page to introduce yourself in your portfolio and let me tell you you need to make sure that this section grabs their attention because if they if this part doesn't then they're not going to even scroll to the next part and i would suggest on the next page you can put your testimonials because you want you want them to feel like you know what you're about. So you can remove this image and you could go back to the templates. Let's see if there is one in here that we can use. This portfolio is a little different, but you could literally create your own, a blank um, page, use the blank page, add the body. So if you have three testimonials, one there, one here let's just say you have four one here and one here you got the picture right and make sure you have a fancy heading so that it stands out so click on that and resize it obviously put it in the center you can name it client love. I mean, you don't want to be too old fashioned. 
This is the new world. So let's be fancy. Hmm. You may need to. Okay, maybe you can't. No. You need to resize this thing to make sure it's working out. Let's choose another font for now. Because I don't want to make this video too long. But I really like this font. I've used it before for a client and I think it's cool. But for this video, let's use another font. Let's use this one. I like this one too. Okay, so now you can change it to client loaf or what my clients are saying. Something beautiful. Obviously, this is not working out as, it's not as pretty as I would do it if I was sitting down and really structuring my own, but I'm just showing you how to create it. So just use your creative genius and get it done. Here, if you're a graphic designer, you can showcase some of the work that you've done. And let's just go to the last page. You want to have your contact information and a booking link on this page. And as you can see, there are no where um, there's nowhere to type that information. You don't want to use this font. So you can just go back here and add a subheading, a heading, or a little body. Just drag and drop. This is real simple. Anyone can do it. You just have to take some time and just make it happen. It's not hard. Let me just show you a sample of one of our portfolios that I created using Canva. I don't like to waste my time on things that are not making me money. So I don't take too much time to make my portfolios because I don't have to spend so much time doing it. I've worked so hard over the years, so I have my testimonials to prove. Um, so this is what I created. This is one of our samples. So that's just an overview of how to create a portfolio. And as you can see on the last page, there's a booking link and there is an email. It's a call to action for them to take action. You can't leave them. To, to wonder, should I even book this person? And remember, client reviews very, very important. You're about, use a pretty picture. If you have a professional one, that's awesome. I'm about to get some done. But yep, that's how you create a portfolio using Canva. Watch out for another video and how you can use um, Squarespace to create a simple website. Thanks for watching my video. And if you feel like this is informative and someone could definitely benefit from this video, go ahead and share, subscribe, and comment below. When you're finished creating your portfolio, you can go here and click the download. Uh, this is saying you should pay and download, but don't worry about that. <laughs> you can just go here. The reason it's saying that is because the Canva image is there. So you can just remove this image if you don't want to pay for it and use something free. Let's just go with this one. No, that one is paid too. The pretty ones are paid. Let's use that free one. Um, just for this. There's something else in here that needs to be paid for. The image, once you see the Canva um, watermark, it's saying that you should pay for it. Okay, yeah, all of them. But yeah, you would go here and you would choose the style or format that you want. And PNG is always good. But for a portfolio, I highly recommend PDF print. And as you can see, they suggested that. So you would just download it. Um, if it's if you have your free images, you just go ahead and download. If you want to pay for the images, you pay and you download and it's downloaded to your laptop and you can rename it. You can add it to your drive and you can share the link um, with your prospects or whoever you please. So that's how you download. Bye.